Our next guest woke up in bed with a car on top of him. <laughs> Amazingly, they're here to tell us their story. Please welcome Kristen Palmer and Trent Wood. I'm introducing two people that had a car land on top of them, and I can't hug you because I, I don't know what I did. I have no idea. This is crazy that I'm in pain and you're fine. This happened how long ago? Um, it was October 20th. So very, very, uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Not yeah. even. Um, all right, so w four in the morning? Yeah, a little after four. I think it was exactly 4.08. We actually had a clock that, that stopped right on that time that we found <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> All right, so it. you're you're sound asleep, I assume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what happens? Well, from my perspective, I heard the house shake. You know, I felt it. I heard a lot of noise and then just a big thud right on top of me. And my first reaction was, Oh my gosh, there was an earthquake and the roof fell on top of us. Because you're that in was... Nevada, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, earthquakes. and do we have a picture just so we'd see what we're talking about yet? Um, uh, all right. So that's your bed. Mm hmm. And uh, that was after the car was lifted up. After it was lifted up? Yes. Okay. So it was farther down. A little so, bit. right. It, it right. had been further down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, how long were you pinned under there? 42 minutes. 42 minutes. That they had to get, seen... Yeah, the debris. There's a lot of debris in there, like, because it came through the office and our bedroom, which we have is a pretty small house, and that's where all our stuff is, basically. So they had to have, like, a team come in and get all the debris out first and kind of get to the car. And to... plus, you, you, it was balanced in a way that if they moved mm -hmm. something, they thought it was going to collapse on you because yeah. you were okay. The mm -hmm. front part of the car is actually right here, and the headboard is right here. And so my head was any more forward and it would have crushed my face. Yeah. And also, weren't you being b burned by the muffler or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I have that? a second degree burn that goes from just the back of my knee So down you're just to laying there leg. being burned. Mm -hmm. And yeah. were you... I had a, I have a little burn right there. Uh-huh. It's kind of weak compared to hers. Yeah, but. right. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, the worst part about that, I mean, you know, there's lots of bad parts, but this was done on purpose. This guy was heading for his ex-girlfriend's house mm -hmm. and got the wrong house. Yeah. Yeah. He was trying to get his ex-girlfriend and his, her new boyfriend. Yeah. And so you were calling for him saying, are you okay? Yeah, we're like, we were more worried about Whoever if was someone was, you know, unconscious or dead. And as soon as, like, oh, where's that guy? They're like, he took off. And your He's neighbor already tackled, in like, custody. What? That's what so they, they grabbed us. him. Someone mm -hmm. saw him running. Our neighbor actually tackled him down. I like that guy. Oh, cool. yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. Thank God. Now, you know, you always hear, especially in California, if there's an emergency, you should have clothes by the bed, you should, it, you know, be dressed. <laughs> Were you sleeping with clothes on? Were you naked? You know, I was, uh, I had underwear on and a tank top. And as soon as I got out of that, too, I put on, like, my new sweatshirt, and I had no idea I was covered, like, head to toe in the, in the fluids and stuff. Were so. you sleeping with clothes on? Yes, I actually remember when the guy, when the firefighter started pulling me out of the car, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, what am I wearing? Because there's so many firefighters in there. I had on underwear and a tank top, so uh -huh. thank goodness, but it was still kind of like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> don't I know, look at me. That's yeah. just, you know, you don't expect to, you know, have mm -hmm. firemen in your house trying to pull a car off of you, so. <laughs> All right, uh, and I know that the house, you had just moved into it, right? Yeah, in mm -hmm. August, first week of August, so. Oh. Just ready for a barbecue, too. Oh, no. <laughs> ready to yeah. have the Halloween thing, because it's an old house, so you're right. like, Right, yeah, we had our creepy. pumpkins ready to carve. Yeah. So you lost everything. a lot of stuff. I mm -hmm. know that. I know that you, you uh, so what, Ikea has a large selection of uh, well-designed products for your home at a low price. They heard about what happened, and they want to give you a $5,000 gift card. Oh, my God. I know you play guitar, and mm -hmm. I know you uh, lost your guitars, and uh, that's a bummer. And yeah. so Gibson mm -hmm. is going to give you this Les Paul guitar worth $2,000. Oh, so. oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Holy. That's All right. crazy. I'm glad y'all are okay. That's, uh, and good for your neighbor for, for mm -hmm. thinking I don't need to get involved and just, you know, he just... Going after him. Yeah. I think good. he was in his underwear, too. Uh, yeah. I think so. Your neighbor I think was? So. I think he was. Yes. What Barefoot a night that too, was yeah. in that neighborhood. <laughs> um.